Hello everyone, so come time for part three and the <coughs> third third things what I look in here I will take care about these plugs so yeah I have already actually make a test run on such uh, materials and it come out quite nice effect with the gold on it and at the other side as you can see it's all contaminated with the solder and leftover of the cables I don't want to mess up my uh, process later on so I decide to cut away all those dirty stuff from it and later on I end up with only nice gold plated pins and those ends I will process separately because yeah it will involve a little bit more of work because of those extra tin and copper anyway I will just show you how I will manage to take those pins out and then I will continue on and at the end I will show you how much of materials we will get so let me just drop my cam into the holder yeah just like that and yeah what I will do I'll just catch those pin at the plastic just where solder end up and just twist it off just like that and drop it into one bucket I believe one day I will process all those dirty stuff but for most I will work with materials like that no okay actually this one is only partially plated as you can see the last what I have it was fully plated but anyway that's even cool on this way I can even go a little bit further and get rid of that extra not plated piece of metal so I can just snip it off just like that and on that way I have much less material to dissolve in the acids so let's just make a little circle just cut all those dirty stuff just like that or twist it off break it off whatever and then later on I will just pull it from the other side and here comes out another procedure to cut it yeah later on to get cleanest material to work as possible just like that okay so so now I will play I will play with this a little bit I got six of those plugs and yeah I will show you result so see you soon okay guys I realize those pins is only front plated the back side of the pins you can see in here it's one empty without solder or anything I see few before and I realize the back side has no gold plating at all so this part of the pins I need to remove to take it out actually anyway but yeah so I will not save up this one for further processing because it's only like tiny bit of brass uh, tin and a little bit copper and that's basically it so I just drop it into the cables or brass I don't know yet but yeah anyway no meaning to keeping that for further gold recovery of them because there is nothing basically okay so let me continue okay so guys I finished up first part and actually I forget to wait how much it was but let's just check it out 
got the mounters, plated pins, and the uh, leftover from the pins. 450 grams. After we rem remove the dirty side of the pins, as I find out there is no gold at all, so it's just brass. We end up 388 after we remove all plastic and shielding. So we left out with partially plated pins still because they are not fully plated, totally plated. They are, have only plated tip of it. So I want to remove as much as base metals as I can before I begin to process it through for gold recovery. Anyway, now we are at 70 grams mark. Let's just try to remove all those uh, base metals and then we see how much we will be left out with. Anyway, more concentrated material, in this case it's better. So let me just cut each and every one pin to get rid of all these base metals. So, we were at 70 grams. Let's see what we'll have after I cut this away. Okay guys, finished up. So, that's my materials. In here, we was at 70 grams at the end of taking, that, taking it out from the plugs and cleaning it. And it does take time because it took me like, yeah, let's say like over three hours of playing with. I wasn't in the rush anyway, I just playing with it by listening in the back background some music and everything. Anyway, what we end up, actually what we would begin with, it was those six uh, connectors. Yeah, six. And this is not an easy thing because I have to handle each and every pins what we have in here at least four times. So first of all, I have to cut the wiring away of it. Second of all, I have to remove the back part. What's just what was just this? just sticking out from the plugs later on I have to pull those pins through this hole and at the end I have to grab each and every one pin and just cut those piece of those pin so now I end up with the clear material for further processing here yeah. So let's just look what do we have in here. Standing on the zero, the box is on the on the scale, shelf box 10 grams is there down, so let's just drop it in here and then look how much materials we have for the processing. Yeah some of them fall out but anyway no big deal. Let's just put it back in. So, we end up with 46 grams gold plated materials ready to process. Just from those six plugs, what was on the behind of those devices. Anyway, let's close this down and just hang it somewhere here so it will not be lost it those things will go to the shred three eighteen those things goes either to my brass or 
brass or cables or contacts or plugs I'm not sure yet but probably I will just drop it to the brass 62 grams and this is actually clear brass that was those part of the pins what I cut away 26 grams cool so another part of this device get sorted out actually this one is ready for further processing and yeah I hope will be good anyway let's get rid of this one just there this one I get rid of later on so we still have left to process our relays and there is like three more of this different kind this has just silver contacts all this has gold contacts two tiny transformer and yeah so that will be end of the part three I believe next one will be either transformer or this relays or either this one but we will all see how I feel I actually yeah hurt myself a little bit I squeezed too hard my cutter but anyway never mind so that's the part 3 that's the effect of total uh, scrapping of those device so you can see how much time it takes to scrap it micro scrap it totally anyway so see you at the next one guys take care